स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑल फोर्स मैथ्स क्लास डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड सम मॉडल्स ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास नाउ लेट अस कंटिन्यू द रिमेनिंग मॉडल्स नाउ फर्स्ट वन द लाइन 2x एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस ट्वेल्व इज ईक्वल जीरो कट्स द एक्सिस एट कैपिटल ए एंड कैपिटल बी देन ईक्वेशन ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर ऑफ ए बी इज डैश देन द ईक्वेशन ऑफ द परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर ऑफ ए बी इज डैश ओके वॉट इज द गिवेन लाइन टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस ट्वेल्व इज ईक्वल जीरो इट इज द गिवेन लाइन इट कट्स द कॉर्डिनेट एक्स एट ए बी so first we reduce the given equation into intercept form that means 2x plus 3y is equal to minus 12 by dividing with minus 12 on both sides 2x plus 3y by minus 12 is equal to 1 that means x by minus 6 plus y by minus 4 is equal to 1 it is intercept form x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 so it cuts the x axis at capital a minus 6 comma 0 capital b 0 comma minus 4 okay the line is in this way the line cuts the coordinate axis at minus 6 comma 0 means this value a minus 6 comma 0 b 0 comma minus 4 means this value it is the given line okay please observe this value the line cuts the coordinate axis at ab so first we find ab then equation of the perpendicular bisector of ab what is the meaning of that perpendicular means the two lines makes an angle 90 degrees bisection means that line divides the line segment ab into two equal parts suppose the line is in this way ab ab midpoint of ab b p the number of lines passing through p are infinite the lines passing through this values are infinite every line bisects the line segment ab but one of the line is perpendicular to this ab this line is said to be perpendicular bisector of ab please observe this point perpendicular bisector means that line passes to the midpoint and at the same time perpendicular to the line segment ab okay here the required line is perpendicular bisector of ab that means first we find the midpoint of ab and perpendicular to this value this line this is the required equation of the line okay okay next ab so p be the let p be the midpoint of ab then midpoint of ab is equal to what is the midpoint of ab x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 that means minus 6 by 2 means minus 3 comma minus 2 here p is minus 3 comma minus 2 okay next now the required line is perpendicular to this 2x plus 3y plus 12 is equal to 0 what is the slope of this line slope of this line is equal to minus 2 by 3 so slope of the required line is slope of the required line is perpendicular means required line slope means 3 by 2 please observe this value since the required line is perpendicular to this value therefore slope of the required line is equal to 3 by 2 mmmp is equal to minus 1 by using that property we find the slope so here what is the slope of the line required line slope is m is equal to 3 by 2 and the line passing through the point p x1 y1 is equal to what is that value midpoint of that value is minus 3 comma minus 2 if slope and point are given what is the equation of the line slope is minus uh, a by b sorry slope is a by b if a by b is the slope and point is x1 y1 equation of the line is ax minus by is equal to ax1 minus by1 that means 3x minus 2y is equal to 3 into minus 3 that means minus 9 minus of 2 into minus 2 means minus 4 that means plus 4 what is this value 3x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0 it is the required value okay the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line segment ab is 3x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0 please note this value perpendicular bisector okay next second one the straight line passing through p1 comma 2 is such that the straight line passing through p1 comma 2 is such that its intercept between the axes is bisected at p bisected at p bisected at p then the equation of the line is dash then its equation of the line is dash please observe the diagram 
द स्ट्रेट लाइन पासिंग थ्रू दिस पॉइंट पी वन का मू सच दैट इट्स इंटरसेप्ट बिटवीन द एक्सिस सपोज द लाइन इज इन दिस वे इट इंटरसेप्ट ऑन द कॉर्डेड एक्स आर ए बी प्लीज अब दिस वैल्यू इट्स इंटरसेप्ट बिटवीन द एक्सिस इंटरसेप्ट बिटवीन द एक्सिस नथिंग बट ए बी ए बी इज बैसेक्टेड एट पी दट मीन पी इज द P bisects this line segment means P is the midpoint of AB. Please observe this point. P bisects this line segment means P is the midpoint of AB. What is the value of P? P is one comma two. Now we find the equation of this line. Already we proved in previous case. Uh, if P x one comma y one is the midpoint of the line segment AB, what is the equation of the line? Direct formula x by x one plus y by y one is equal to. If the midpoint of the line segment AB is given, then equation of the line is x by x1 plus y by y1 is equal to 2. Equation of the line. Here, what are the values of x1 comma y1? X1 comma y1 is nothing but 1 comma 2. So x by 1 plus y by 2 is equal to. After LCM, it can be reduced into 2x plus y is equal to 4. 2 is the LCM. 2x plus y. After cross multiplication, 2x plus y is equal to 4. It is the equation of the required line. If the midpoint P x1 y1 is given, then equation of the line is x by x1 plus y by y1 is equal to. Suppose this line, this point P divides the line segment AB in the ratio of m is to n. What is the equation of the line? N x by x1 plus m y by y1 is equal to m plus n. Suppose the point P divides the line segment AB in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Then find the equation of the line by using this formula. We find the equation of the line AB. Okay, please note this value. Next, third one. A straight line L with negative slope passes through the point eight comma two and cuts the coordinate axis at the points P and Q. Find the absolute minimum value of O P plus O Q. As L varies, where O is the origin, O is the origin. Very, very, very important model. A straight line L with negative slope. The slope of the line is negative, and passing through particular point eight comma two, and cuts the coordinate axis at the points P and Q. Find the absolute minimum value of O P plus O Q. Okay, please observe this value. The slope of the line L be negative. That means let slope of the line is equal to minus m, where m greater than zero. If m is positive, minus m must be negative. So let slope of the line is equal to minus m. Okay, and the line passes through the point. What is the point? X one y one is equal to eight comma two. P x one y one is equal to eight comma two. If slope and give a point are given, what is the equation of the line? Y minus y one is equal to m into x minus x one. By using that formula, we find the equation of the line. Here, please observe the diagram. Slope is negative, and the passing through the point eight comma two. The line is in this way. Say P is eight comma two. Slope is negative means the angle of inclination is obtuse angle. Okay, please observe the di diagram. This value theta is at two angle, eight comma two, and it cuts the coordinate axis at P Q. Okay, O is the origin. Now we find the absolute minimum value of O P plus O Q. We find the O P plus O Q absolute minimum. That means the minimum value of O P plus O Q. We calculate. We find that result. Okay, that is the required value. Okay, uh, now. Slope and point are given. What is the equation of the line? Y minus y one is equal to m into x minus x one. Our direct formula. Slope is equal to minus m by one. What is the if slope is minus a by b? What is the equation of the line? A x plus b y is equal to a x one plus b y one. Equation of the line is direct formula m x plus one into y means y is equal to eight m plus two. Okay. Or y minus y one is equal to m into x minus x one. After simplification, we get this value. For getting O P O Q, what are the values of O P? O P is nothing but it is x intercept. O Q is nothing but it is y intercept. So we reduce this equation into intercept form. For getting intercept form, we dividing on both sides with eight m plus two. Okay, dividing on both sides with eight m plus two, m x plus y by we get m x plus y by eight m plus two is equal to one. Okay, next m x by 8m plus 2 plus y by 8m plus 2 is equal to 1. Okay. Next, 
what is this result this value is nothing but please observe this value that implies x by 8m plus 2 by m reduce this value into intercept form x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 so x by 8m plus 2 by m plus y by 8m plus 2 is equal to 1 here x by 8m plus 2 means 8m by m that means 8 plus 2 by m plus y by 8m plus 2 now it is in the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 what is the x intercept 8 plus 2 by m y intercept is equal to 8m plus 2 that means op is equal to 8 plus 2 by m oq is equal to 8m plus 2 okay therefore op is equal to value 8 plus 2 by m and oq is equal to 8m plus 2 okay now we find the least value of op plus oq that means by adding these two values by adding these two values we get now op plus oq is equal to 8 plus 2 by m 8 plus 2 by m plus 8m plus 2 that means 10 plus 8m plus 2 by m now we find the minimum value of this function here m is variable m is not a constant how we find the minimum value of this value here x and 1 by x terms are there we use a m greater than or equal to g m if the quantities a comma b are given both a comma b are positive quantities if both a comma b are positive quantities then a m is always greater than or equal to g m that means a plus b by 2 is always greater than or equal to root a b arithmetic mean of the two numbers is a plus b by 2 geometrical mean of two numbers is root a b by using this property we find the minimum value of this okay here m is positive 2 by m is positive 8 m positive 2 by m positive we know that a m greater than or equal to g m a m means a plus b by 2 is always greater than or equal to root a b a plus b by 2 is always greater than or equal to root a b that means here what is the value of a a means 8 m 8 m plus 2 by m by 2 okay is always greater than or equal to root a b means 8 m into 2 by m here m m cancel 8 into 2 means 16 root 16 means 4 that means 8 m plus 2 by m is always greater than or equal to 2 into 4 means 8 okay 8 m plus 2 by m greater than or equal to 8 but what is the value of op plus oq op plus oq is equal to 10 plus 8 m plus 2 by m by adding 10 on both sides 10 plus 8m plus 2 by m is always greater than or equal to 18. This value is nothing but OP plus OQ. OP plus OQ is always greater than or equal to 18. That means the minimum value of OP plus OQ is equal to 18. This value is more than 18. More than 18 means the minimum value of that function is 18. Therefore, minimum value of OP plus OQ is equal to 18. Very, very, very important. Okay. Next, fourth one. A line passing through 3 comma 4 meets the positive coordinate axis at capital A and capital B. Then minimum area of triangle OAB is dash. A line passing through the point P 3 comma 4. One of the point on the line is 3 comma 4. Okay. And meets the positive coordinate axis at AB. The diagram is in this way. The line meets the positive coordinate axis means positive x axis and positive y axis at AB. It cuts the coordinate axis at AB. Then the minimum area of triangle OAB, this area. What is the minimum possible area of this value? This line passes through the point. What is that point P? One of the point on this line is 3 comma 4. Okay. It is the given value. How many lines passes through P? Infinite number of lines passes through this P. We get different areas. What is the minimum area of that triangle OAB? Okay. That is the question. Actually, number of lines passing through these points are infinite. Many possible are there. Okay, so infinite values. Uh, next, here P is equal to 3 comma 4. Let us assume, let us assume the equation of the line B, x by A plus y by B is equal to 1. This equation can be assumed as x by A plus y by B is equal to 1. Please observe this value. X intercept A is positive, Y intercept B is positive. Okay, both A and B are positive. What is the area of the triangle formed by the line with coordinate X of mod AB? Both A and B are positive means of AB. 
area of the triangle is half ab triangle o a b area is nothing but half mod ab here a is greater than 0 b is greater than 0 that means half ab it is the required area now we find the what is that value minimum value of this half ab value we find that value okay next let us assume the equation of the line b x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 but it passes through 3 comma 4 but it passes through 3 comma 4 therefore what is the condition 3 by a plus 4 by b is equal to 1 say this value is equation number 1 now we find the minimum area that means half of a b minimum value okay for getting the maximum minimum value again we use am greater than or equal gm what is the meaning uh, if the quantities are positive what is the am am is equal to a plus b by 2 gm is equal to root a b okay now we use am greater than or equal to gm we know that am greater than or equal to gm what is the automatic mean a plus b by 2 is always greater than or equal to root a b here a means 3 by a b means 4 by b okay that means that value am means 3 by a plus 4 by b by 2 is always greater than or equal to root 3 by a into 4 by b but actually from the equation 1 3 by a plus 4 by b is equal to what is this result this value is nothing but 1 that means 1 by 2 is always greater than or equal to root over 12 by a b 3 into 4 means 12 by a b okay now after cross multiplication it can be reduced into or squaring on both sides both are positive squaring on both sides 1 by 4 is greater than or equal to 12 by a b after cross multiplication both values are positive okay a b greater than or equal to 48 okay but required value is of a b that means of a b is always greater than or equal to half into 48 means 24 half ab is nothing but area of triangle oab but area of triangle oab is equal to half mod ab that means half ab this is the area of triangle oab therefore area of triangle oab is always greater than or equal to 24 what is the meaning that meaning of that that meaning is this area is more than 24 means minimum value of this area is 24 the required value is minimum area of the triangle oab therefore minimum area is equal to 24 very 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 important alternative method alternative method direct formula if the area of the triangle oab is minimum then the value of p must be midpoint of the line segment ab the point p must be the midpoint of the line segment ab in this case if the midpoint is given what is the equation of the line x by x1 plus y by y1 is equal to that means x by 2 x1 plus y by 2 y1 is equal to 1 it is the equation of the line in intercept form what is the area area is equal to half mod ab means 2 x1 into 2 y1 2 2 cancel that means 2 mod x1 y1 it is the direct formula to find the minimum area here what is the x1 y1 x1 is 3 y1 is 2 2 mod x1 1 means 2 into 3 into 4 that is equal to 12 into 2 that means 24 already the minimum value of this value is 24 it is actual method shortcut method please note this value the minimum area of the minimum area of triangle oab is equal to 2 mod x1 y1 please note this value also the minimum area is obtained when p is the midpoint of the line segment ab if the midpoint is given what is the equation of the line x by x1 plus y by 1 is equal to reduce this value into intercept form area is equal to half mod ab that means 2 mod x1 by 1 it is the direct formula okay next fifth one reduce the equation root 3x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0 into normal form root 3x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0 into normal form it is the standard equation that means general equation is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 it is in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 it can be reduced into normal form what is the equation of the normal form x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p we reduce this equation into x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p what is the given equation given equation is root 3 x plus y is y minus 4 is equal to 0 what is the normal form x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p p is always greater than or equal to 0 p is always positive that is the perpendicular distance from origin to the line and alpha is the angle made by the line angle made by the line 
with uh, angle made by the perpendicular with positive x axis in positive direction this is alpha okay please observe this value p is always positive so move uh, move this 4 to rhs that means root 3x plus y is equal to 4 by dividing on both sides with root over a square plus b square what is the value of root over a square plus b square root a square means root 3 plus 1 that means root 4 means 2 dividing on both sides with 2 we get root 3x plus y by 2 is equal to 4 by 2 dividing on both sides with 2 okay that means it can be reduced into root 3 by 2 into x plus 1 by 2 into y is equal to please observe this value it is in the form of x cos alpha plus y sin alpha say this value is cos alpha this value is sin alpha cos alpha is equal to root 3 by 2 cos alpha is equal to root 3 by 2 sin alpha is equal to 1 by 2 here both cos and sin are positive that means alpha lies in first quadrant what is the value of cos alpha sorry for getting cos alpha root 3 by 2 what is the value of alpha alpha is equal to 30 degrees okay sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 that means here alpha is equal to 30 degrees means pi by 6 radians that means the equation of the line in normal form is x cos pi by 3 pi by 6 plus y sin pi by 6 is equal to 2 it is the normal form of the line okay it is the normal form of the line suppose the question is in this way write the sixth question reduce the equation x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0 into normal form reduce the equation x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0 into normal form the given equation is x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0 now we reduce this equation to x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p p is always constant here 2 is positive so move x comma y to rhs set that means minus x minus y is equal to please observe this value here what is the value of root over a square plus b square root over minus 1 whole square plus minus 1 whole square means root 2 by dividing on both sides with root 2 we get minus x minus y by root 2 is equal to 2 by root 2 okay that implies minus 1 by root 2 into x plus minus 1 by root 2 into y is equal to 2 by root 2 means root 2 say this value is cos alpha this value is cos beta sorry sin alpha the standard form of the normal form is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha here what is the cos alpha value cos alpha is equal to minus 1 by root 2 sin alpha is equal to minus 1 by root 2 here both cos and sin are negative that means alpha lies in third quadrant please observe that value third quadrant means the value is 180 plus theta that means pi plus theta okay here 1 by root 2 means 45 degrees 1 by root 2 means 45 degrees therefore here alpha is equal to pi plus pi by 4 please observe this value 180 plus no, pi plus pi by 4 cos pi plus pi by 4 means minus cos pi by 4 that is equal to minus 1 by root 2 sin pi plus pi by 4 means minus sin pi by 4 that value is equal to minus 1 by root 2 clearly both sin and cos are positive that means alpha belongs to q3 that implies alpha is equal to pi plus pi by 4 that implies that is equal to 5 pi by 4 so normal form of this equation is x cos 5 pi by 4 plus y sin 5 pi by 4 is equal to root 2 it is the normal form suppose the question is in this way 3x plus 4y is equal to 10 please observe this value by dividing on both sides with root over a square plus b square means 5 by dividing with 5 it can be reduced into it can be reduced into 3 by 5 into x plus 4 by 5 into y is equal to here this value is cos alpha this value is sin alpha now it is in the form of x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to b but cos alpha is equal to 3 by 5 means we, uh, we know about this angle alpha sin alpha means sin alpha is equal to 4 by 5 means in this case also we cannot find the value of alpha so in this case the the standard the normal form is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to where cos alpha is equal to 3 by 5 and sin alpha is equal to 4 by 5 okay it is the normal form okay not this value next seventh one a point on the line x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 at a distance of 2 root 2 units from the point 1 comma 2 is oblique by r by r there are two possibilities in this case r dash okay 
What is the equation of the line in this case? X minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. In this case, x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? Suppose a point on the line x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 at a distance of 2 root 2 units from the point 1 comma 2 is dash. Here, what is the x-intercept? x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. Put x is equal to 0. Put x is equal to 0. What is the value of y? y is equal to 1. Okay, 0 comma 1. This line passes through 0 comma 1. y is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 1. That means the line is in this way. The given line is in this way. And one of the point on the line is 1 comma 2. One of the point on the line is P, sorry, A, 1 comma 2. It is one of the point on the line. The correct diagram is in this way. A, 1 comma 2 is one of the point on this line. Okay. Now, we find the points on this line which are at a distance of 2 root 2 units. Already we know about the parametric form of the line. What is the parametric equation of the line? The equation of the line in parametric form is x is equal to x1 plus r cos theta, y is equal to y1 plus r sin theta. What is the value of x1, y1? x1, y1 is given point on the line. Theta is the angle of inclination of the line. R is the distance, parameter. That is the distance from A to any variable point on the line. Okay. For getting any point on the line, we use parametric form. Already we discussed about this point. Okay. Suppose A is one of the point and P is at a distance of R units. What are the coordinates of P? The coordinates of P are nothing but x1 plus r cos theta comma y1 plus r sin theta or other possibility. The point is r in a distance in this direction or in this direction. There are two possibilities. In positive direction, we take plus r cos theta plus r sin theta. In negative direction, we take x1 minus r cos theta comma y1 minus r sin theta. That means there will be two possibilities. There will be two possibilities. Please observe this value. In this case, the point on the line x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. The given equation of the line x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. What is the slope of this line? Minus x coefficient by y coefficient that means 1. But slope m is equal to tan theta. What is the value of tan theta? Tan theta is equal to 1. That means theta is equal to 45 degrees. That means angle of inclination of this line theta is equal to 45 degrees. In this value theta is 45 degrees. And x1, y1 is equal to what is the value of x1, y1? One of the point on the line is 1 comma 2. Okay. x1, y1 is 1 comma 2. Now, we find the points on the line which are at a distance of 2 root 2. That means r is equal to 2 root 2. Here, yeah, r is equal to 2 root 2. Therefore, required points are, therefore, required points are, how many points are exist? Two points. Required points on the line is equal to x1 plus r cos theta comma y1 plus r sin theta or x1 minus r cos theta comma y1 minus r sin theta. What is the value of x1 here? 1 comma x1 y1 means 1 comma 2. That means 1 plus 2 root 2 into cos pi by 4 comma 2 plus <coughs> 2 root 2 into sin pi by 4. This is one of the possibility or next minus value. That means cos part pi by 4 means 1 by root 2. 2 root 2 into 1 by root 2 means 2. 1 plus 2 means 3, comma. 2 plus 2 root 2 into 1 by root 2. 2 plus 2, that means 4. So, first possible point is 3, comma 4. What is the next point? Next also we find 1 minus 2 root 2 into root 2. That means 1 minus 2. That means that value is minus 1, comma y1 means 2 minus 2 that means 0 find these two values x1 plus r cos theta y1 plus r sin theta is one of the possible value or other point is x1 minus r cos theta gamma y1 minus r sin theta by using this condition we find the points on this line suppose the distance is 5 units uh, we take r value is 5. So, 1 plus 2 root 2 means, here r means 5. 1 plus 5 into cos pi by 4 comma 2 plus 5 into sin pi by 4 in the same way. Okay. Please write this value. Next, eighth one. The slope of the straight line, the slope of the straight line passing through a minus 2 comma 3, a minus 2 comma 3 is minus 4 by 3. Find the points on the line that are 10 units away from a. In this case also, what is the value of a? x1, y1 is equal to minus 2 comma 3. What is the parameter? r is equal to 10. Here, slope of the line is given. 
slope means say theta be the angle of inclination that means tan theta is equal to minus 4 by 3 slope is negative tan value is negative that value lies in second quadrant that means theta belongs to second quadrant if theta lies in between that value okay next here what is the triangle theta it is 4 3 5 now sin theta is equal to in second quadrant sin value is 4 by 5 cos theta is equal to minus 3 by 5 in second quadrant sin is positive cos is negative okay by using this property what is the required point x1 plus r cos theta comma y1 plus r sin theta or x1 minus r cos theta y1 minus r sin theta substitute these values in this equation we get the required points